soulmates. Let us now examine into some of the things I have given you, those especially of which you cannot yet acknowledge me as the giver. Perhaps the particular position in life you now occupy, you do not think the best adapted for the expression of my idea surging within you. If so, then why not step out of that position into the one of your choice? The mere fact that you cannot or do not do this proves that at this time such position is the one best suited to awaken in you certain qualities necessary for my perfect expression. And that I, your own true self, am permitting you to remain therein until you can recognize my purpose and meaning hidden within the power such position has to disturb your peace of mind and keep you thus dissatisfied. When you recognize my meaning and determine to make my purpose your purpose, then and then only will I give you the strength to step out of that position into a higher I have provided for you. Perhaps the husband or the wife you have, you think is far from being suited to you or capable of helping along your spiritual awakening, being only a hindrance and detriment instead. You may even be secretly contemplating leaving or wishing you could leave that one for another who sympathizes and joins with you in your aspirations and seeking and therefore seems more nearly your ideal. You may run away if you will, but know that you cannot run away from your own personality, that in selfish craving for a spiritual mate, you may attract only one who will force you to a tenfold longer and harder search among the illusions of the mind before you can again awaken to the consciousness of my voice speaking within. For a sympathetic and appreciative mate would only feed the personal pride and selfish desire for spiritual power in you and develop further the egoistic side of your nature. Likewise, a loving, trusting, yielding mate might encourage only selfishness and conceit when you are not yet abiding in the consciousness of my impersonal love, while a tyrannical, suspicious, nagging mate may provide the sole discipline you still need. Did you but know it, the one who is your true soulmate is in reality an angel from heaven, even as are you one of the attributes of my divine self, come to you to teach you that only when you have purged your own personality so that my holy love can express, can you be freed from any conditions which may now be causing you so much disturbance of mind and unhappiness of soul? For not until this soul, this angel from heaven, this other part of my and yourself, who has come to you and is yearning and striving to call into expression through you, the impersonal love, the tender, thoughtful care for others, the poise of mind and peace of heart, the quiet, firm mastery of self, which and which alone can open the doors so it can step forth into the freedom of its own glorious being and be to you its own true self. Not until you can see this soul in all its divine beauty, free of this earthly bondage, will it ever be possible for you to find and recognize that ideal you seek. 
for that ideal exists not without in some other personality but only within in your divine counterpart which is I your higher immortal self it is only my idea of this your perfect self striving to express and become manifest through your personality that causes you to see seeming imperfections in the mate I have given you the time will come however when you cease to look without for love and sympathy appreciation and spiritual help and turn wholly to me within that these seeming imperfections will disappear and you will see in this mate only the reflection of qualities of unselfish love gentleness trust a constant endeavor to make the other happy that will then be shining brightly and continuously from out your own heart perhaps you cannot yet wholly believe all this and you still question that I your own self am responsible for your present position in life or that I chose for you your present mate if so it is well for you thus to question until all is made plain but remember I will speak much more clearly direct from within if you but turn trustingly to me for help for I ever preserve my holiest secrets for those who turn to me in deep abiding faith that I can and will supply their every need to you however who cannot yet do this I say if your own self did not place you here or provide this mate why then are you here and why have you this mate think I the all the perfect one make no mistake yes but the personality does you say and the personality chose this mate and perhaps has earned no better position what who caused the personality to choose this particular one and earn this particular position in life who picked out and placed this one where you could thus choose and who caused you to be born in this country of all countries and in this town of all towns in the world at this particular time why not a hundred years later did your personality do all these things answer truly and satisfactorily these questions to yourself and you will learn that I God within you your own self do all things that you do and I do them well I do them while expressing my idea which is ever seeking manifestation in outer form as perfection through you my living attribute even as it is in the eternal within as for your true soulmate which you have been led by others to believe must be waiting for you somewhere cease looking for it exists not without in some other body but within your own soul for that within you which cries out for completion is only your sense of me within yearning for recognition and expression me your own divine counterpart the spiritual part of you your other half to which and which alone you must be united before you can finish what you came on earth to express this is indeed a mystery to you who are not yet wedded in consciousness to your impersonal self but doubt not when you can come to me in complete surrender 
and will care for naught else than union with me, then will I disclose to you the sweets of the celestial ecstasy I have long kept in reserve for you.